There are major celebrations underway today after the Canadian comedy show Schitt's Creek won big at the Emmys last night. It swept the comedy category, taking home nine awards. But insiders say it's not just a win for the creators, cast and crew of the show, but for the whole city of Toronto as well. Oh, there is value in these motels. The series that enjoyed an almost cult following for six seasons was entirely shot in Toronto and the surrounding areas, cementing our city's position as Hollywood North. I think it was a great, uh, extraordinary moment last night. We've had a lot of amazing shows made in Toronto. I would point even to the fact that a lot of other nominees are shows that people may or may not know are made in Toronto. Magali Samard is a program manager of the city's film sector development and says productions are slowly but surely picking up again in the city with all careful COVID-19 protocols in place. The film and television sector is a big economic engine for Toronto, injecting $2 billion and employing more than 30,000 people. This year, of course, won't enjoy that sort of revenue, but Samard expects all full-time employees to be back to work by the end of the year. Certainly not at capacity yet. We expect October, November to be when the largest productions are active again. In the past 90 days, we've issued around 300 film permits across the city. And sure enough, on the streets today, a commercial was being shot in High Park and the show Coroner in Etobicoke. So it seems like it's going to rebound. It is. Frank Syracuse's company Whizbang has numerous productions that were put on hold after the lockdown, but now Handmaid's Tale has started shooting again just last week, with others set to ramp up again in the coming weeks. But there are major differences. Beyond that, everybody, there's no, there's no second guessing, there's no nudge, nudge, wink, wink, everybody first. Right. And Magalie Samard says that is part of why she's so confident the industry will once again be very robust. It's the extreme care we're taking with COVID-19 protocols, from cameras and dollies to makeup artists, and not just in Toronto, but nationwide. We would say Canada is very well positioned in the ways that it has dealt with the pandemic and the strength of the industry that it has created, both in Toronto. There's a great admiration, I would say, from uh, external countries as to how we've done this. Meantime, John Tor is celebrating along with the rest of the city the wins for Schitt's Creek, which stars Canadian veterans Eugene Levy and Catherine O'Hara and was created by Levy's son, Dan. City Council and the people of the City of Toronto extend our congratulations on an incredible clean sweep by Schitt's Creek last night at the Emmy Awards and to say the whole team, uh, congratulations from the city. We're very proud of you and this is a great Canadian accomplishment. To commemorate the huge victory, the Toronto sign in Nathan Phillips Square will be lit in gold. In Toronto, I'm Pam Seidel, City News.